Well, happy May there, folks. Today is the first day of May. May Day. That's right. So, can you hear me? May Day. <laughs> May Day, and I need assistance. Um, hey, y'all, it's been... <clears throat> It's been a good while since I've heard from you, but it's not really been doing anything today for the last couple of weeks, and so I figured well, we'll just go ahead and just check out the Wacky Weather Man, <clears throat> your Wacky Weather Wake Up Update, and let's see what Trent has for us today. Like I said, it's not done anything at all, and we'll go outside and we'll take a look around. Let's see this. This announcement. If I can get this, this get this thing. Things are a little on the uh, cool side this morning. 49 <laughs> in Paducah, 48 in Metropolis. It is 46 in Union City, and 48 right now in Sykeston. There we go. And uh, skies mainly clear after yesterday. A very breezy day with a few little pop-up showers, and that was all caused by a low pressure right that's now swirling up around the uh, Great Lakes. It's still there and still. Pumping a few clouds our direction. I think the pop-up showers stay to our northeast today, but we'll still have maybe a scattered cloud or two. And, of course, yesterday was very cool and breezy. Yeah. And it will continue to be, for this time of year, May 1st, relatively cool and breezy again today. We'll see mostly sunny skies this morning, a scattered cloud along the way for the afternoon. High temperatures getting up into the mid-60s today. And northwest winds will continue to be pretty gusty Averaging uh, sustained winds between 10 and uh, 20 miles per hour, but a few gusts today could reach 25 to 30 miles per hour. The gustiest winds here during the daytime hours, specifically earlier here in the afternoon. Then we headed to tomorrow, a cool start in the mid 40s. We'll get back up into the mid 60s. Should have a day full of sunshine tomorrow and still a touch breezy. Northwest winds will be uh, coming in at about 10 to 15, perhaps not 20 really, miles per hour. Not really. Storm worthy in that cool pattern that we've been in for uh, the past few weeks. There's some signs of change finally arriving by the end of this week. Uh -oh. We'll stay a little below average through the work week, but then by the weekend and early next week, look at that, several days running in the 80s coming along. So uh -oh. it looks like a warmer pattern yep. finally starting to uh, uh, finally develop as we head here through uh, about the next uh, 10 days or so. So today, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, breezy at 65, 66, breezy for tomorrow. Wednesday, 67 in sunshine, not quite as windy. And then we head into the end of the week, it gets a little more unsettled, just a slight chance of a shower on Thursday, but a pretty good chance for rain, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Friday. The weekend starts out dry, 78 on Saturday, but on Sunday, as our warm front lifts in, we'll have to watch out for a chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. It doesn't look like a washout, but at least a few hit and miss showers possible. Sunday morning, every All right, folks, well, Wacky Weather Man, there you go. Well, there's your Wacky Weather Wake Up Update. So we'll be back this week, and I've got some groovy videos and stuff to show you. And so I'll see y'all here in a little bit. We're going to do stuff and get dressed, and I'll uh, see y'all outside. So... We'll go check out this beautiful morning. So happy Monday to y'all, Wacky Weather Man. May 1st, 2023, there's your Wacky Weather Wake Up Update. And welcome back to Wacky Weather Man.